What is Lent? I have shared in my previous video regarding this subject from Daniel who starved certain appetites and set his mind and heart to God and submitted himself to God and also spoke words to God. Today we want to continue reflecting on this subject and I will still go back to Daniel chapter 10 verse 12 and verse 13 and talk about being expectant. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we learn and we draw to you as we read your word. May you speak to us now in this time. May you draw us to yourself and cause living hope to rise up in our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Talking about what the meaning of Lent is, a season of devoting oneself to God, a season quiet in the presence of God. I want you to catch something early enough during such a season. You should be expectant. You should be very expectant because that is important for you to continue persevering. Perseverance is the second key word I would like to highlight in this devotional. You need to remain expectant and persevere. What does Daniel 10 verse 12 and 13 tell us? Then he said to me, this is an angel, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that you set your heart and mind to understand and humble yourself before God, your words have been heard, and I have come because of your words. The prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me 21 days, but Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, for I was left there with the kings of Persia. Why do we need to remain expectant? There is an answer in these words I have just read. And why do we need to persevere? There is also an answer in these words I have just read. Expectation and being expectant is because our God hears prayers. Our God sees the heart that is humble before him. Our God is very observant. And therefore, the moment you call upon him, the moment you say, for the sake of the gospel, I will humble myself. For the sake of seeking the Lord, I will starve certain appetites. I'll go without some of the delicacies. I'll go without some of the food and some of the meals I have always loved. For the sake of my relationship with God, I will continue to submit myself and set my heart on mine and humble myself before God. God hears. He inclines his ear to you. Look at what happened to Daniel. The angel is giving a report and saying the very first day of the 21 that you set your heart and mind to God to understand. God had. The words were had. This could be a Lenten season of 40 days. The moment you start on day number one, heaven is open, listening to your words, observing your humility, and receiving your commitment. Be expectant. What prayers are you bringing before God? What challenges are you bringing before God? What troubles in your nation or in your town are you bringing before God? He hears and he will hear you right from the first minute you conceive anything in your heart. Be expectant. And number two is that you should persevere. We need perseverance. I just imagine, just in case, Daniel had given up on day number five. Oh, he had prayed. Oh, he had stabbed himself a bit. Oh, he had been fasting. He had really been in the disciplines that should conquer territories. But he needed to go up to day number seven, not just number seven, even up to day number 15, and beyond, right up to day number 21, when finally Angel Gabriel arrives with an answer. We need perseverance. Don't you give up after a few days? Don't you give up after saying, Lord, I've called upon you for a few years regarding this, and it's not coming through? I am giving up. No, 
God answers prayers and that answer you are waiting for is on the way. Be expectant and persevere in God's presence. As we continue persevering in God's presence, I want, to, I want you to observe the fact that there is warfare. There is warfare in this season of Lent. Rise up and join a serious warfare because suppose it's the same season today when Angel Gabriel is coming with an answer and then the Prince of Persia, the, devil, the devil's agents, the satanic spirits are, are, are withstanding him and they are saying, no, you cannot go from here. There is a time of warfare that it is that, that, is, that, that we must bring into context during this season. And the reason we've read this scripture today is to remember that warfare is part and parcel of our prayer life. We must understand they are resisting spirits, resisting agents of the evil one. And I want to give you the good news that as long as you remain persistent, as long as you remain expectant, even the agents of the devil will not withhold your answer forever. Day number 21 is coming to you when Michael, the archangel, will come. He is the warrior angel and he will come and break through for Gabriel who will bring your answer. Be expectant, my sister. Be expectant, my brother. And persevere in this season of calling upon the Lord. Yes. Daniel had to go through the whole 21 days, starving some appetites, setting his heart and mind to the Lord, and submitting and humbling himself before God, and speaking continually, speaking words, praying to God. Let's continue in those disciplines, but remain expectant and continue persevering, fighting on for the angels of the Lord will also be dispatched, not only with answers, but also to fight for you. And you will be more than a conqueror. As we continue sharing on this topic, we will talk about how to defeat certain things that have persisted in our lives. How to defeat those bad dreams. How to defeat that addiction. How to defeat the, the, those fears that keep bringing us down and bringing us down. And the tools are with us. The Lord is with us. I pray that God will continue to bless you. And let us continue learning. I'll be posting many more videos on this subject. Just keep it here. Don't miss any of them. And may God richly bless you. As we pray right now, I'd like you to just lift up your heart and lift up your faith and say, Lord, I'm expectant. I will not lose. I am expectant and I will persevere. I am expectant and yes, your word is coming through and the Lord is doing it. God, our heavenly Father, we thank you because you are a God that answers prayers and therefore we should really be expectant when we come before you, when we come in your courts. You are a God that fights our battles. Thank you, Lord, because just like you dispatched angel Michael to come and fight, that Gabriel would come through successfully and bring answers to Daniel. So we know that even us in this generation, you will fight battles for us and cause us to break through and cause us to win and cause us to advance and cause us to grow even in our relationship with you and our service in your kingdom. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will hear the prayers of your children. You will raise their hearts in expectation that in a season that we have gazetted to call upon you, we will see our lives change. We will see nations turn. We will see people return to you, God Almighty. For we know that you are more than able. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. May God bless you.